Hi, thanks for joining me. In this short video tip, I'm going to show you how you can write a concise but professional job offer refusal letter or email. Sometimes when we've been sending our resume and cover letter to different companies, we may come across a problem that's actually good to have. And that problem is receiving more than one job offer. The problem is we can only accept one job and that means we need to professionally refuse the other job offers as soon as we know which job we want to actually take. There are six parts to a short and concise job offer refusal letter. Part one is the subject line. Part two is a professional greeting. Part three is thanking the person who interviewed you and the company for taking the time to meet with you. Part four is the actual refusal. Part five is repeating that you're grateful and wishing the company well. And then finally, part six is ending with a professional closing, including your name and phone number. So let's start with an example that you can use anytime that you need to refuse a job offer. Step one, the subject line. Keep the subject very simple. For example, you can mention the actual job offer and also your name, such as marketing assistant dash your name. Step two is the professional greeting. Always start with the word dear and then follow with the person's name. You can use Mr. or Miss if you don't feel comfortable using the first name of the person. Step three, you can use a text that is something like this. Thank you for offering me the position of marketing assistant at ABC Company. I appreciate the time you spent meeting with me to discuss the position as well as the company. In part four, this is where you refuse the offer and you can write something like this. It was a difficult decision, but I regret to inform that I will not be accepting the position. Step five, thank them again and wish them all the best. And you can use a text something like this. I am grateful for the offer and wish you and the company all the best. Finally, finish with a professional closing such as sincerely and then underneath include your name and under your name include your t your phone number and that's it that can be your letter or email to refuse any type of job offer and you don't need to provide a reason why you are rejecting the job offer you may include a reason if you want to, but it is not necessary. Remember that when a company does not hire you, they also do not provide reasons why they don't hire you. They simply say that they selected a different applicant. And in this case, you can do the same by simply saying that you regret to inform them that you will not be take, taking the position. I hope this tip was useful for you and as always, if you have any comments or questions, please make sure to include them below this video in the comments section.